All right, let's get your new iPhone set up. On the new phone, swipe up and press the language you want to set it up in. On the old phone, it'll pop up when you have the phones next to each other. Pick up your old phone and scan the little fuzzy circle that pops up on the new phone. You don't have to do anything other than hold it over the phone. On the new phone, enter the passcode to unlock your phone. Once you've done that, give it some time and then it'll pop up at the next screen here asking for your face ID. You can set that up. I'm going to skip that for right now. Two options. You can pick iCloud or just phone to phone. I always pick phone to phone. It seems to work easier. Agree to the terms and conditions for Apple. Give her a minute. Scroll down and press continue on making this your new iPhone. Continue. Scroll down, press continue again. A lot of this is pressing continue and next. Apple's made it very, very easy. Now this process is moving your data over. This can take quite a bit of time. So give it some time. Don't rush it. Don't freak out that it's taking so much time. On the old phone, it'll show transfer complete once your phone is all the way done and moved over. At this point, you have the option of resetting your old phone. It's completely up to you. You'll press continue and you can continue to reset it. I'm gonna do not now, that way we can make sure everything came over on the new device. So that phone will just sit there and look nice. The new phone is done. Swipe up, enter the phone passcode to unlock your phone. Once your phone's unlocked, everything will be there. You can go through and check your text messages, apps, and all that good stuff. We'll set up the new eSIM, so we'll press setup and go to cellular and tap set up eSIM. While it's doing that, you'll pull up a browser. You'll go to att.com slash activations. Scroll down and go to your wireless number, press activate. Put in your phone number and zip code. I'm obviously not gonna put in my phone number because it's activated. So put in your phone number, put in your zip code, Scroll down, put in a zip code. I don't live in the 90210, but we're gonna put that anyway. You'll press continue. Once you've done that, it'll give you the option to activate your eSIM. The eSIM on the new iPhone 14 is how it's run. This is the only way to get your iPhone activated. Make sure you go to that website to get your phone active. And then it'll show eSIM set up. Cellular setup complete, it'll show your phone number right there. I like to turn on Wi-Fi calling every single time I set up a new device. So I'll go to cellular, go to Wi-Fi calling and turn that on. Enable Wi-Fi calling. This will bring you to an AT&T page confirming your address. So we'll scroll down and press continue, press it again. It'll confirm your address right there, verify your address. And Wi-Fi calling is on, boosting your Wi-Fi signal. It'll allow you to make calls in remote places where you've got Wi-Fi. You're ready to go.